Did you know that every day a team of folks predicts the future for us? To do it, they take a bunch of photos of the present, feed them into a supercomputer, and hit go. And inside the computer, this movie starts playing out. The sun is shining on the ground. Sun heats the ground. Ground gets warm. The air next to the ground gets warm. Warm air rises. Water vapor starts to rise. This, by the way, is Brian Gross. Director of the Environmental Modeling Center. And yes, we're talking about forecasting the weather. And he says to do this, they have to simulate the passage of time. Out to six hours from now, or 10 days from now, or next season. And so next, just like in the real world, it simulates that water vapor condensing out into rain. Well, simultaneously, it's generating the heat that is released when the water vapor condenses. How is that heat going to affect the motion of the air parcel that that rain is sitting in? This infinitely complex chain of causes and effects, chemical interaction, thermodynamic processes, physics, builds upon itself and evolves. It's all very simple, right? (laughs) Until the computer spits out a new picture that lands on the desks of scientists like I'm constantly switching between different surface observations, satellite, radar. Ian Russell and Allison Santorelli. Um, Yeah, so I'm working on fronts in the medium range period. Who make their final tweaks. What Jessica's working on here is called the excessive rainfall outlook. During that period that I'm forecasting for. Adding to it things like where the ground is nearly saturated with water and therefore is at high risk of landslide or flash flooding. There's Jason. He's working on ocean prediction. (laughs) Or cross-referencing it against historical weather patterns. Every single one of these individuals is working together. Sort of like an orchestra. You know, all these different people Mm -hmm. playing different parts. As they craft the forecast. Outside right now, it is clear and it will stay clear tonight. Some patchy fog again possible overnight tonight, 55 to 60. Beautiful day tomorrow, mostly sunny. And finally, 80s across much of Wisconsin. Once again, a good dose of sun. Saturday, strong southwest wind. This forecast lands in the inboxes of local meteorologists who look it over and tell it to us. 70 by Wednesday. When you dress the kids tomorrow, may want to start with a jacket. Take that thing off in the afternoon. Shorts. Sunshine 80s. So we can plan a picnic or what to wear. Or, you know, prepare for the worst. Get to shelter. Get to shelter right the now. The National Weather Service out of slide down. Really, our charge is protect lives and property. The National Weather Service in Indianapolis has issued a tornado warning. I mean, these predictions save an untold number of lives each year. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's hard to find a greater triumph of science and the government than the weather. And it's also unifying. Noah is equally looking out for all of us, and we've all got access to the same forecasts. But today, despite all this, despite all these processes, all these people, it's just not enough. Tune in to Radiolab's Weather Report wherever you get podcasts to find out why.